All right, you. <laughs> Listen. That button. Fine, I'll hold it. <laughs> hey, peeps. <laughs> it's Anarchon playing Dust and Elysian Tale on Hard Mode. This will be the second episode. So, if you happen to miss the first one, well, go and look on YouTube. It's up there somewhere. It's about an hour long. So, this is going to be like an hour long, uh, as usual. Where was I, anyway? These look approximately the same, but only seconds apart. So, hit that. Ah, uh, yes. I remember. Oh, jeez. It's going to say, screw you guys. Everything is messed up as usual. Uh, let me unplug my controller and then replug and see if that will fix anything. And every great now and then I'll have this kind of trouble. You never know, I may have to restart the stream or some crap after a computer reboot and maybe even a, uh... Oh, where are you? <sighs> maybe even a, uh, reinstall this sucker, because it did this once before and I had to reinstall the game to get the controller to work right. <sighs> Ah, uh, yep. Guess what? <laughs> uh, yep, gonna happen again. Alright, well. Exit game, quick game. And, uh. We're just gonna have technical difficulties as usual. Ah. Uh, exit that. Yes, fine. Oh, kill steam, you say? Yeah. I'll try that. Oh, okay. And control delete. Okay, don't exit steam gracefully. I did not do it. Okay, so destroy steam with a vengeance. Yeah, steam client bootstrapper, you say? Yeah, all of the steam processes is kill them. Steam, steam, steam. Where are you, steam? Now, it's probably the only one I got. Details, you say? Yeah, Switch to name. Uh, I only seen the one. Uh, that's the only one I seen. I already killed it. All right, well, let's try this. Ah, uh, dust. <laughs> Somebody says, steam kill, steam kill, kill steam. All right. You can obviously hear what I'm saying. Uh, all right, let's try this again. And switch to scene. E for everyone, 10 plus. <laughs> Microsoft Studios. Sometimes suck. <laughs> Press the key to begin. Hit A. Resume. So far, it's working. Let's see. Miracle! Lizzie, you're amazing. Thank you very much for your technical support. You're welcome. And it worked. Alright, well, there's a new trick. <laughs> Alright, check in the comments. Hey, peeps, technical difficulties are the bane of my life. Everyone, uh, blame Sparks. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Poor Sparks. <laughs> Had nothing to do with it, but he's blaming himself anyway. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we were about to do something hilarious. I was accepting a, a little quest from this person. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. So, I accepted the quest from her last time, and I don't know if I saved before or after I went and talked to this guy. We'll uh, go double check. Uh, so we gotta go over to the twat, uh, the butthole, the um, guy that likes to send little kids uh, out in dangerous territory to do his laundry. So uh, let's go talk to him, and then we gotta do a little quest and find the kid. Yep, working good now. Thank you. Uh, this guy. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Seriously. Corbin is doing your laundry? Really? Outside the village? <laughs> I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, 
Maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. You know, it's guys like this that make me want to, you know, want to be able to smack the crap out of an NPC. <laughs> but it just ain't working today. So, uh, anyway, we gotta get out of here and figure out... Uh, actually, let me go save again, because last time I was like, Oh, let me jump right into something and die instantly right at the beginning. So I don't want to have to accept this quest another time. So, let me go over here and uh, do this again. So, anyway... <sighs> I'm looking for topics of conversation today. I have a couple I can talk about, but, you know, not exactly the best stuff in the world to talk about. Basically the junk that I did today, not a lot. Uh, so, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, you got any questions, if um, you want to hear any story I might happen to have about a particular part of my life, that you'd have to basically say, hey, talk about this, because I'm not 100% sure what I want to talk about. And go ahead and mention it in chat, and I'll check it out in a few minutes, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk about something. <laughs> Doesn't matter what. <laughs> Ask me anything. <laughs> Hello? So, the little bit I have to talk about today was uh, apparently where I live, if you decide not to... Uh, weed eat or mow like three weeks uh, your yard turns into a little jungle so I had to spend a while just trimming a whole bunch of saplings out of my yard because they're just growing like mad deadly creatures keep your distance and if you get too close but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath yeah try not to walk into those let me at him Alright, don't walk straight into the bloms this time. So, uh, I also spent some time trimming up this bush. Uh, actually it's not a bush, it's a, a vine that likes to grow right at my entryway. Um, well actually like, I got this little fence and a gate, and uh, it's to my front door and stuff, and I get packages a lot due to my wife be, being a beta tester for all sorts of stuff. And, uh, because of that, you know, I don't want the FedEx and UPS men to get their face knocked off by this uh, uh, huge vine that's trying to take over the entire entranceway, so I uh, trimmed that up today. There's some keys over there. Uh, that took a while. I kind of got this, like, compost pile where I put all the brush and stuff, though. So it's taking its sweet time composting. But it all went over there. Um... I seem to have this huge influx of what they call ghetto, uh, what is it, ghetto, not, uh, ghetto palm. ghetto palm, I can't get over here yet, huh, and these, it's like these little palm trees that when you cut them, they really stink horribly, like, even if you, like, break off a branch or so, oh, jeez, uh, that's working, not really well, but I can always stun one. There we go. Well, ah, uh, that was in uh, sure death if I get hit by one of these. Come on. Now, well, screwed that one up. Hey, remember what, how, uh, how I kept on getting killed last episode by these guys? Of course, that was the uh, first boss battle. Now, there actually is an achievement for getting a thousand, uh, hits, I think? I don't know, something like that. Now, uh, there's a small yellow number up there, and there's a larger number. I think I have to have the larger number, the blue one, be like a thousand or something. But I haven't actually accepted the quest yet, and I don't think you can for a while, so, uh, even if I did manage to pull it off, I wouldn't get it right now. Yeah, yeah, I didn't anyway. But, uh, yeah, there's actually a way to get that, even if you've made yourself super strong. There's an item you can get that'll make yourself really weak later on. But you don't get that until towards the end of the game. Ah, found him. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Yeah, yeah. Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. 
Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped <laughs> it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. Sweet. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. So, he gave me a resonance gem. Seriously? We'll see what that's for that shortly. Laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? <laughs> laundry quest. I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Yep. Anything upstairs? Nope. Alright. Hey, safe spot. That's good to have. Definitely need those. So, where's this guy's laundry? Oh, jeez. I also have a new wonky enemy. And they can be deadly. See? <laughs> Very deadly. So, uh, let's not do that and uh, try not to die. Try not to get hit by their horrible, horrible buttload of uh, deadly sparks. Poor sparks. I'm blaming Sparks today. It's all his fault. <laughs> well. Ah! Whoa, that was close. I might need to put a little bit more on health or defense or something. Uh, I'm a little ways away from a level up, so not right now. It's going to be a bit where I can even do that. So once I manage to find the blacksmith, it'll be able to give me some more defense when I can possibly afford some more stuff. Uh, Alright, so that's done. There we go. His laundry. Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Ha ha ha! What's <laughs> going on in that twisted little brain of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Poison Ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. <laughs> you are positively evil, Fidget. You know what? <laughs> that guy's a real ass. <laughs> yes, with this Poison Ivy, I will rain retribution upon Gianni's a wicked soul. Good. <laughs> <laughs> good meaning not to push poor little <laughs> <people>. <laughs> But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. Oh, your fault. <laughs> My word. With pleasure. That's meanie. He's just lucky I don't foreclose on his face. Yeah. What? You know, it's like he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. Foreclose. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Bill joke. <laughs> All right. Well, let me go save that. Um. <laughs> yeah. It's always uh, nice to uh, drop... Um, Gianni's laundry right into the poison ivy. <laughs> he so deserves it. You know, that's a very effective way to get rid of those things. I'm gonna have to do that some more. You also get some uh, items and stuff from doing that, you know. Doing your twirly attack thing. Um, it may take several <laughs> of those things for me to uh, get over here. Alright, that worked. Um, there. Get some wall chicken. Gotta love that wall chicken. I accidentally walked backwards. So this is what the uh, white resonance gem's for. You can't get through these uh, gates uh, without a gem of the same color. Notice that one's actually, if it's lit up there, it's white, but it looks black. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna psych this guy out, try not to die. Oh, there we go. Hey, a tasty cupcake. Uh, there we go. And one more. Oh, there's more. Come on. Boom sticks all over the place. Jeez. It's a bunch of uh, spots for wall chicken to be. Yep. Two wall chicken. I wonder if I can get to this other spot over here. Eh, forget about it. 
Uh, I do want to save real quick. There's a save spot right there. Um, come on. There we go. Yeah, due to being on a uh, very, very, very difficult, uh, hardcore difficulty here, I'm wanting to save as often as I possibly can. So we're going to go uh, give Gianni his laundry. <laughs> so it's this way, I believe, I think. I hope. Yeah, all right. And we're going to see how this goes. Ha ha ha. Do I mention boah ha ha, by the way? <laughs> boah ha ha! Alright, guy. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. <laughs> Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm a patient type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Mm -hmm. Is he alright? <laughs> yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely after I all that... I burned it all. There, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, ha, well... When you put it so threateningly, I have little choice. <laughs> Very little Good. choice. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. Good. <laughs> I kind of hate this guy, uh -huh. and I would just love to maul his face off. Indeed. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Oh. Now, big question is, if I go away and come back, what all is uh, said by this guy? <laughs> <laughs> something wrong? Maybe. Oh, everything is fine. <laughs> this is agony. Agony. No. Maybe having a poor, defenseless boy wash your laundry way out in the woods isn't agreeing with you. Go for it. Go. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I in peace. No. Uh, the poor guy. I'd never do that to somebody in real life. I've uh, wallowed around in a um, lot of poison ivy when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, I had quite a bad poison ivy reaction at one time. It lasted a couple months. I ended up having to go to the uh, quick care and get some shots and some medicine before it finally went away. But uh, oh well, a little itchy. Things happen. All right. So anyway. I'm going to walk over here, and uh, there's a couple people we've missed talking to before. Also, there's this guy. Oh, hello again. Thank you so much for helping me before. You're welcome. You're welcome, Corbin. And just be a little smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <laughs> Yes, Fidget. Like the laundry. Ah, bad okay, joke. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong, I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000 hit combo. There's that 1,000 hit combo quest. He wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo. Hello. <laughs> Fidget, calm down. Whoa. Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000 hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow, awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, This one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. <laughs> well then. <laughs> K -k -k combo breaker! Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. And I don't have any keys for that. All right, so this is a good time for me to check the uh, comments, finally. And see what you guys are up to. Uh, <laughs> you have a random question, and the question is high question mark? Yeah. <laughs> nice question you got there, CCR. Are you pro-scub or anti-scub? What's a scub? I don't even know. 
Uh, see, you got to use the morph ball to get through. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Uh, what's your favorite thing to go out and do with your wife? That's a pretty easy question. Go out to eat. <laughs> I'll even discuss uh, where we go out to eat usually. And that's pretty much all the comments. Um, uh, we tend to go out to eat at, uh, let's see. What is it called? <laughs> Good day. Bra I'm brain Mayor fart. Graham. So you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing really. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's now no I remember. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in this our guy's midst gonna is gonna really blab on forever, I'm sure. So what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Mm -hmm. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Talking about some yes, really, be ginger. really she can be a bit of a handful. Uh, don't cast judgment <laughs> sad on like lady up the hill. No idea Talked to in the last episode. Past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Uh, don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. Mm -hmm. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, Never mention, on a much uh, government scale, officials tend to have this gift of driving just dragging apart. something on They're forever. Sure. Whatever leads these Especially a conversation. I mean, they'll warfare. go through this giant what conversation for an hour and not Our really say land. anything. Just a casual observation. This basically every time uh, the president has a uh, state of the address. <laughs> Sidestep every issue ever. You want us to find <laughs> Never really say anything definitive. At least this guy is asking well, for help. I mean. I, you feel a conflict of emotions. This it's is something. Good. I will abide by your decision, master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. A fan of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I'd need to bite your face off. <laughs> Charming as always, Fidget. Uh -huh. I think you've made a wise decision. Yep. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monsters. I'm sure I will lose I a handful Mayor. myself. I'll be careful, and I'll be back. <laughs> Hey, level up! Just by talking to this guy. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go spin that level up in a useful manner over here. You know? uh, let's go slap it somewhere in here. I could stick it there and might be able to last through an extra hit. I could put it there and kill something off a lot quicker. Also, there's this, which is useful. Um, one of these two. And I think this time around I'll go with this one just for a little extra longevity. And next time I'll probably hit this one and then fidget again. Uh, that'll probably do the trick. So I guess I'm not as glass cannony as I really hey, suspected I was going to be, but oh well. Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Brothel. Well... Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, 
And I'm in charge of keeping oh, okay. our guards well equipped. Dang. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty <laughs> <laughs> In so many words. That was yes. blunt. <laughs> it's not like I enjoy giving them so hard equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Imp hides. Much say. appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. I wonder if he have those. I might. Please let me know. I'll keep. My nope. Much appreciated. Alright, let's see what I do happen to have. Impides material over here. Beast leather, scrap metal, junk. <laughs> I don't see any impides in here, so uh, I guess it'll be something we come across over time. Oh well. Um, Alright, well, onward and forward, and hopefully not dieward. We got uh, several places to go. The Glade, which is, I believe, where we were at originally. Here's a sanctuary, which we'll check out, out some other time. It's not really important. There's Archer's Pass, which is where the uh, blacksmith's probably at, which is where I plan on going. Uh, so let's uh, check out Archer's Pass and hopefully be able to gain a level or two while I'm in here. That'd be great. And that's just going to do its cutscene bull honky. And I think somebody said something in the comments. So I'm gonna go check it out real quick. <laughs> compassion. What is this thing called? Compassion. I don't know, CCR. Maybe you should grow some. Hello. <laughs> ah, uh, never mind poison ivy. Uh, stinging nettles, though. Dim nettles. I don't. I'm not a big fan of uh, stinging nettles either. But uh, at one time I worked at a little uh, farm, and uh, I can't get through that one. Uh, I went. I worked at a little farm, and I was pulling some weeds and stuff. Do you hear something flapping? And uh, I had to pull out stinging know. nettle. Hey, but from all the work noise. I'd been done doing the Wait, weeks before, right. it actually toughened up the skin on my hands, and I didn't feel a thing. Oh yeah, that was wow. Set me up for that one. That's some bull honky. All right. Wow, my pie. Did I ever mention you can basically fly in this game, almost? <laughs> sort of. As long as there's something to hit up there, you can go fly. Ah. Alright, so the other thing I was going to talk about today wasn't a lot. Hey, a quick save. That's good to have. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention was the only other thing I did today. Well, the cat's been um, deciding to use the bathroom in the kitchen instead of in the cat box. And uh, I think it's probably because the uh, cat litter was a little on the full side, so I cleaned that out. But uh, I had to go get some new cat litter. And I've been thinking about uh, switching brands, and there was this brand I liked a long time ago I tried. It was called uh, Feline Pine. It's made completely out of pine, it's completely organic, biodegradable, technically, and, uh, let's see, is this button? There we go. And because of that, um, you know, you can stick it in a compost pile or something, or you can still just throw it away like normal if you wanted to. But uh, it used to be really expensive, but uh, I looked at the price of it today when I was out at the store. It's actually a dollar cheaper than the stuff I've been getting for the last couple years. And uh, so I'm making a switch. Hopefully the cat doesn't complain and decide to go all over the floor more. Eh. Also, my cat seems to have some other little minor issue. She likes to lick and chew on bags. So uh, recently she had diarrhea once again in the kitchen. And there was bits of bag in it. <laughs> Poor cat. I gotta keep all the plastic bags out of, the, uh, out of her reach. So we, we usually recycle those. Uh, anyway, I'm left wondering, is this is the uh, music here a little loud? It may be. Just in case it is, I'm going to try turning it down a little. I uh, don't know if that made much difference. I could probably turn it down more. Alright. That'll probably work. Yeah. Because this is kind of loud music there. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. 
So, if anybody else got any con topic for conversation, you know, let me know. You guys want me to talk about my past or my history or any other weird story I can remember? Uh, you'd probably have to prompt me about a particular period of my life. <laughs> wonder what's down this hole. Oh, where I came from, that's what's down that hole. Yeah. Struggling for something to say. Ah, well, I guess there's one little thing we could talk about. Uh, but, uh, give me a sec to check the comments, because I think somebody may have said something. Uh, flying for free. Screw planet, uh, plane tri tickets as long as you get enemies to hit. First class is the way to go. Yep. <laughs> Lol. Uh, that's pretty much it. Come on, peeps. Talk to me. Talk to me. I listen, sometimes. I'm gonna just skip that guy entirely. I think the first time I actually met this guy, he just smacked me in the face and I died. Because I did not expect him to be there. Alright, let's see if I can kill him off. Yep, there he goes. Man, it's really pouring it down. Oh yeah, the little bit of uh, stuff I was going to talk about. Uh, basically, uh, CCR and I have been um, trying out this new uh, mod, and it's called uh, Terraforma Craft. It's for Minecraft, obviously. There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> and uh, we've been playing that for like a couple weeks now, actually. And like at first, we were playing it just to get used to it some, uh, so we learned what we were doing because we didn't know what we were going doing at all at first. And it's one of those mods that's complicated enough, you gotta spend a decent amount of time with a wiki. Uh, so, we've been messing with that, and we got pretty far. And then, uh, we decided to make a new world and started, uh, recording episodes on it. So, we're up to episode, I think, uh, we got 10 done, we're part way done with episode 11, I think. And, uh, yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll probably start putting that out next week, I guess. Maybe, sometime next week. Um, other than that, I believe I might have mentioned it before, uh, the, uh, series for, um, oh, what's it called? Inferno Mines? That's about finished. We actually have finished recording it, and, uh, it'll be done uploading probably this upcoming week. Ow! Well, I'm gonna have to redo some stuff. I don't know where the last save point was. Oh, man, look at that. So, uh, we've been messing with that for a while, and, uh, that's been pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and we're gonna continue playing that. And, uh, let's see, we are actually, the last episode we have recorded for Captive Minecraft is going up tomorrow. Yeah, it ended up being really late putting that up, because I was waiting on CCR to, um, get enough spare time uh, to uh, be able to mess with that. Let's see, eat this. Uh, eat that. That'll have to work. There's a lot of enemies over here. Man, I just want out of here. Wow. Ah. Whoa, watch out. Ah, getting tough. It's gonna be one of those times somewhere on this mountain where I'm gonna have a hard time talking. <laughs> I'm gonna be spending all my time flailing about. Oh, jeez. Emergency wall chicken there. <laughs> Had to eat some up. And I figure at some point I'm gonna be spending a lot of my money on food. Just keeping myself alive. Alright, uh, I honestly don't know what that particular bomb fruit's for. Uh, maybe I missed it, or skipped it by. Maybe it's just to blow things up, which is a pretty good use, to be honest. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, whoa! Things! Hey, I'm a little ways down, aren't I? Uh, I don't know where the next save point is, so I gotta be careful. Ha <laughs> ha! And I just drop right back down. I'm getting out of there. Whew. 
Give my guy a second to take a breather, man. Oh, no time for breather here. Ah, uh, start smacking things up. Oh, don't get hit by behind from behind, man. Ah. Poof. I just wonder if I managed to pick up something good here. No, just a blueprint. And no good armor yet. No ring, no other ring. Still one pendant. And we just got nothing else useful. All right. So sometimes these upgrades are really good if you manage to get a hold of them. And sometimes the uh, guys will drop them, but I guess not so much in the early game. Kind of sucks. Oh well. I could really use some upgrades at the moment. Since uh, leveling is not the easiest thing at the moment. Uh, it'll become easier soon enough. I gotta mess with this guy and try not to die. Uh, Alright, fine. There we go. Oh, didn't quite make it. That'll do it. There we go. Pop! Fireworks! I like that. It looks pretty good. And up we go, dealing with this crazy horde. <laughs> I can smack like most of them down and onto the ground at once. That's pretty cool. There's so many enemies out here, I'm in small mode. <laughs> it's just this little area, it's kind of out in the open. Uh, almost done with that. Picking up some of this gold. I'm gonna need it. Oh, accidentally activated more enemies. Don't need that much aggro! <laughs> no! Run! <laughs> Jump! Fly! <laughs> Alright, two more. Hey, I got him. Alright, now something up here killed me. I wonder if I managed to kill the thing already or not. Oh, it was that horrible thing. I'm stepping away. I'm taking that thing on from a distance. I hate those things. Uh, it ain't helping either. Uh, I don't want to kill by that. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> die! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Whew! Jumped over it. Alright. Now it's not so bad. This thing's usually uh, spike you from uh, if you jump over him. But he was busy being hit, so it didn't happen so much. I may not be able to kill him with like this so easy or not. I don't know. I jump up here. Take this guy on. Get a little... I, I might be able to just leave him behind. That'd be great. See if this works or not. Yep. <laughs> Good. Ah, oh, save point. I missed you so. Ah, uh, nice to get one of those. I'm pretty close to another level up. Oh, man. Dang. All right. Somebody said something in the comments. So, uh, what server do you do UHC on? Uh, that is the um, Accidental Games server. A uh, new group of people I had to run in with lately, and uh, it's going quite well. Uh, I believe Sparks at least was in the chat. He's the uh, person that runs that server, and he uh, usually hosts the Ultra Hardcores. And uh, tomorrow we're actually recording a Quick Place Blocks um, episode. I don't know when we're going to put it out, but it's going to be recorded anyway. CCR is going to be there too. I don't know who else is making it. Probably a bunch of random people. And uh, uh, that should be fun. Uh, we just barely won the last uh, Quick Place Blocks tournament by the skin of our teeth. I am here to serve. Uh, let's see what this guy happens to have. Food. That's certainly good. Uh, some good pendants. I, I might save my gold actually until after I hit up the blacksmith. Uh, wow, really? Okay, what I have is worth more. Okay, good. And junk ring, teleport stone, ooh, uh, revival stone. That I could use, but oh well. 
And some useless junk. Um, I'm gonna wait till after I hit up the uh, the uh, blacksmith before I really buy anything, but I may need to buy a bunch of stuff, like especially food from him after a bit. So yeah, Sparks does a pretty good job at uh, hosting the events. There's usually some small technical difficulty, but that's inevitable with any little uh, tournament or anything like that. But, you know, it does pretty good. Yeah, he blames himself too hard for it, in my opinion. Poor Sparks. Uh, that was nearly my death. <laughs> oh, jump up into that. Bad news. I really wish I could get a hold of some keys. There's chests everywhere. I also know of a hidden spot somewhere up here where there's some chests. Actually, it might be in the next area. I'm not sure. Oh, some food. Now, uh, notice she has chest above her head. Uh, question mark, and among other things. It usually means there's something hidden here somewhere in this general area. But you can also tell a bit from the uh, map. See, there's a white circle on it. It also means there's something here. Like a, a hidden something. It, usually something to uh, unlock or something. Finally, I level up. I can actually hit things a little harder. Next one's going to Fidget. Because um, I've been using her attack a lot. Oh, okay, good. A, a key. And that's probably the only thing that was really hidden here. Because that circle on the mini-map kind of went away. Alright, well, that's one key. I could go back and uh, get that chest, but uh, I want to see if there was any other um, chests ahead of me first. Because they may be worth more. There we go. That worked. Can't do any forward dash yet. Oh well. Someday I'll get new moves. Come on. Take your breath. There you go. Woo! Close one. Oh, yeah, I think it is a screen. There may well be a hidden thing here. Oh, jeez. Pull that stuff up from below. Yeah, alright. Got a little bit of it. Whoa, close one. Things exploding everywhere. There's a sack. Alright, so the hidden thing is, has something to do with this beheaded statue. Notice the hand pointing off that general direction. Hey, something hidden. And this is going to take its sweet time going to the left and exploding with me on it. And I'll end up over here. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough keys to do much, and that thing that white thing's probably the way back. And I can't remember what's in these chests, but I guess I'm going to try this one first. Alright, uh, A, A, X, Y, D, D. Oh! The bad chest with a bunch of enemies in it. Ah, my luck. I even got hit by it. Alright. But you never know, they might actually drop something very really useful like a revival stone. Alright, that's good. If I happen to get myself killed, I'll uh, be able to come right back to life. But I'd like to save that uh, for a boss fight or something. Uh, let's see if I happen to get better armor. Nope. Sometimes these chests will drop really good stuff. But one of these two chests has something good in it. But I don't really know what. Probably food and stuff. Uh, yeah, a bit of food. Alright, oh, back to what we were doing. Unfortunately, going there brings back all the enemies. Uh, I need to go left, actually. Alright, there we go. Hopefully I don't drop back down into there and get myself splooted. Got some thread and some cloth. And I can go back to this area anytime I want, so whenever I get more keys, I can mess with it. Come on. Yeah, they're very weak. They're just guarded completely sometimes. Hey, more wall chicken coming right up. Dinner. 
Uh, I can go up, I can go right. Uh, let's try right. Ah, I need a crystal to get through here. Alright. Let's try left. Which is also up. Hey, save point. I need one of those. Good time as any. Check through the comments. What's your favorite PC game you've played? Very good question, Jaden Burns. Uh, let me think about that for just a moment. Oh, hey, James. Uh, you're also a YouTuber? I didn't realize that. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> just asking accidental games if I can join the server. Probably ain't going to work. <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, anyway. Let's see. My favorite game. Well, it can be argued Minecraft. Of course, that would be a general given. But I suppose you'd have to say other than Minecraft. Uh, I got a handful of my really favorite games. And I guess I can bring them all up because I hadn't really decided my absolute favorite. Uh, now, from my youth, my very first favorite game that I can remember was a uh, regular Nintendo game called Solar Jetman. And I've been thinking about doing a Let's Play of that sucker. It's a uh, space uh, game, kind of salvage, uh, space salvage game in a way. Uh, you have to mess with the gravity and stuff, and you go down to different planets, and you have to refuel your m mothership with this wee little pod ship. You go around looking for fuel pods and things, and you got to drag them and haul them back to the main ship and fight the gravity the entire time. There's also a bunch of other things you can find, like upgrades and stuff like that. And the main objective is to get a hold of all the parts of the Golden Warp ship, which was supposedly um, a ship that pirates stole and dismantled and hid all the pieces all over the place. Uh, and that's the main objective. And at the end of the game, you get to fly that ship, too. And that's uh, it's a pretty long game for a regular Nintendo game. It's also Nintendo hard if you've ever um, <laughs> played Nintendo games on the original Nintendo. That sucker, uh, it's notorious for having hard games and that is no exception for sure. Of course, I played it so much. There's something hidden over there. Oh, okay, I know what that is. Uh, that particular game, I played so much, I've gotten really good at it. But if you're a noob trying to play that game, it's got a uh, it's got a serious problem with the uh, having um, a, a learning curve of doom, basically. Uh, after that, let's see some of my other favorite games were. Um, Probably Legend of Zelda's uh, games. I love all the Legend of Zelda series, even clear from the first one on the regular Nintendo. I also owned and played the second one on regular Whoa, Nintendo that uh, almost nobody's ever played. Easy there, Chief. <laughs> Everyone, calm down, please. So, you were yep. the ones making all that. <laughs> Sorry about there. that. Uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Look at the hair! <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Absolutely, go ahead. Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for you. Alright, so, uh, this is the, uh, blueprinting section. That's light chain mail, and there's uh, flax sheath. This is something I definitely want. Look at that. Plus 50 attack. It even increases Fidget's damage, too. Uh, I wonder if that's... Uh, she's selling me these blueprints, or if she's trying to get... Uh, uh, I think she's Thank trying you. to sell me the blueprint. And, uh, Maybe. Just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. 
Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Yeah, I've seen that. But this will open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. It makes return trips a lot easier. That will be so nice. So you can come and visit anytime you like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. Even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm Seriously? not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Why not? You can come every night. Well, my dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem, so check for blue resonance gates in Abadi's forest. Sweet. Need anything else? Yeah, I'd like to craft something. I guess this was the crafting section. All right, I want this crafted, but I don't have enough stuff for it. I wonder if she sells any. Uh, probably not what I need. This is some funky shaped thing. No. Darn. Oh well, what about this? Oh, hey. I got all the stuff for that. Yeah, we'll do that. And that'll have to do for now. Need anything else? Uh, we can talk a little so, bit. Let's talk. Uh, this will work. So, is blacksmithing the official family trade then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted, but when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Yeah, yeah. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still, we make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. <laughs> Has it been in the family a while. <laughs> archers pass many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here. But they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take Archer's Pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you could this place no problem. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, fidgets, I don't think that'd help. Might have to go find some rats. No smart mule rats with magic! What the hell? Don't worry about her does. Altitude sickness. Drives some creatures crazy. Yep. Fidget was pretty crazy before. <laughs> we should be on our way. <laughs> I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before, does Maddie have a problem with me? What? Well, it's just... He seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? <laughs> well, I hope that answers your question. Uh, not really. No, but... not at all. Let it go, Dust. Just let it go. Need anything else? Well, Thanks, that's Dust. It. Don't be long coming back. There'll be more options some other time, probably. Uh, anyway, I picked up something or other. Let's see, uh, better armor? Yeah, a little bit better defense. Not a lot. Gives me a little bit more luck too. That's pretty cool. Um, I really wanted that uh, this thingy, but I'd have to get a hold of more stuff. That's gonna suck. All right, so I wonder how you look at the map. There it is. Uh, all right, well, fine. Nice house you got there. <laughs> kind of looks like the forge in a way. Same color, same material. That went 
incredibly well. Do you know why? Maybe. I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. Yep, he's dense. It's because she likes you. Oh, yeah! Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. I mean, geez, That's you could have landed a plane Fidget, with those signals. Really? I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Off the cliff. Well, uh, anyway, somewhere around here, they, sh they did mention that there was a uh, thing to get up here quicker. It's probably down to the right, so... Oh, come on. There we go. I think it's this way. There we go, blue gate. That's what they were talking about. I wonder if uh, anything over here... No, no, no. Nothing? Okay. Ah, <laughs> not quite what I had in mind to do there, but um, I was going to try to get to the right of it, because I think there's something over there. So we can get there. Okay, there we go. Is there anything over here? Yes, but I can't reach it right now. Need the bomb and probably something else. Hey, a note. The girl, don't worry, I put her cage in a safe place. What the hell? Uh, if you ever need to find her, just climb up the uh, high above the wooden bridge near Dinham. And don't try doing that wall jump move of yours to get to her. You'll fall back and break your neck. Alright, that's basically a clue to unlock somebody out of their cage. And that's going to be the end of that one. I mean, we can check out the sanctuary real quick. we got a little bit of time. So, uh, anytime you do happen to unlock somebody, they're, they'll end up showing up here. We only got one person here right now, though. This guy. And he won't talk to you or anything, and there's not much here. But there's this. Oh, what's this? President's gym opens all gym gates in the same color. Well, I guess it's good that we came by. Uh, I completely forgot that was there. But I don't think it's used in any place except, like, one anyway. But, oh well. Something. Something for later. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright. Uh, other things you can do is... Uh, we can always go back to the glade if we wanted to, and you can go from either end somehow or other. Uh, and there's also Abydos Forest, which I'm probably going to start next time. Uh, let's see, back at uh, Archer's Pass, I wanted to go talk to that, um, see if I can find that, the merchant guy. I don't quite remember where he's at, but, uh, I need to sell him some stuff, and maybe buy some stuff. I think it was down near the bottom of this place, somewhere. Also, it kind of looks like there's a path to the right I missed. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna go jump in this save point. There we go. And... I think he's up here somewhere. That was kind of a shortcut, almost. And we'll see him here. Ah, uh, maybe he's over here. Oh! Giant guy again. I can skip him, though. Well, that's the path I missed. Can't get to it yet. Maybe it was past this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, let me go to the right. No escape. Not with this giant horde of stuff. I'll probably end up getting killed by that. Yeah, I knew it. Slime got me. Ah, I used a revival stone. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. I'm going to forget about the uh, other guy. Um, wherever he may be. And actually, I think I probably need to go and uh, load up the quick save. Except I think I just stepped on it and lost it. So, <laughs> uh, probably a few minutes of lost progress. I can get that on my own time, I guess. I suppose, unless I actually did finish this off. I don't know. I can check out myself. 
Well, anyway, peeps, it's uh, it's been about an hour, and uh, yeah, we'll um, end up end off the stream. I'll probably put myself back in town, and uh, we'll start from there uh, next week. So remember, Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, same time this was about you know just one hour ago, and we'll uh, start up another stream of this and keep going. We got a new place to uh, go, Abydos Forest, I believe. And that place is going to be intense, I guarantee it. I'm really going to hope I get some levels up. <laughs> wow, that was a near death. Got my face blown off. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that next week. Catch you later. Yeah, I gotta do this Whoa. again. Uh, hello there. Hello.